Hey guys, what is up? This is Tack Waffles here, and uh, by now you've probably figured out that I'm not Thunder, and um, if you watch uh, Thunderstruck Gaming very much, then you'll probably have figured out that this is not uh, Thunder's gameplays on this channel regularly anyway, so hopefully you were expecting not to hear Thunder's delicious, sultry voice, but uh, if you were, then I'm very, very sorry. You just have to deal with me, and I know that's not near as cool. Um, this is a 28 and 2 uh, World at War on Roundhouse is the name of this map uh, with the Arisaka. Thought I was using the Mosin Nagant. Uh, I had just unlocked it and I was like, oh, I'm gonna try that out. And then apparently I accidentally chose the wrong class, but I still went to town with it. Uh, did pretty well um, by my standards. <laughs> my standards are pretty low, but um, for, for, I, I would first off definitely like to be completely stereotypical and thank Thunder for giving me the opportunity to be on his channel and to get some more subscribers to add to my already meaty roster of 12 subscribers. Oh yeah, uh, I put I put out more videos than I have subscribers. I mean that's probably typical, but uh, yeah, I uh, um, I wouldn't mind growing my channel, but I mean uh, just coming up, uh, just sort of uh, rising up to the challenge that Thunder put out, like, ah, give me good uh, World of War gameplays was a lot of fun. Uh, I just bought this game last week. Uh, I got it for a direct download on Xbox because it was 20 bucks, and I kept hearing commentators talk about how awesome it was, and I was just like, I don't know, I mean, it's just a COD 4 clone, and, you know, this game is great, but it is a COD 4 clone, don't get me wrong. Um, and uh, I can hear all the Treyarch fanboys right now revving up their engines going, you can't say that, but, I mean, come on, guys. Every time Treyarch puts out a game, it's just the last Infinity Worm game reskinned with a few new uh, changes made. Look at that. How the hell did that guy get me? I don't know. All right, how did he not get me, rather? Man, he must suck. He's probably lagging. Uh, that seems to happen in Treyarch games. Oh, man, I just, I'm sorry. I cannot stop with a Treyarch hate. Really? No, this is a really good game. I'm really loving it, uh, but... Oh, the, the first day I got it, it lagged like a biatch. Oh my god. No. Oh, that is skill right there. Um, But yeah, it, it just it lagged terribly. I gave it another chance. I, I, I gave it a little bit longer, and it uh, turns out after another couple days, the lag just... I don't know if it sorted itself out or if I got into a good spot or what, but it hasn't been lagging for me lately. I mean, I'm only like level 15 in here, so you know, that's that's something. But uh, yeah, um, and man, I wonder if the Treyarch fanboys are still watching. I don't know. I mean, like, and I don't mean to pick fun at anybody, you know, like... I, uh, I'll admit, I hate Black Ops, I, and actually, that's the first gameplay commentary I made, um, this is the first commentary I put up on YouTube, it's actually the thing that I wanted to talk about enough that, uh, inspired me to make a, uh, Call of Duty gameplay channel, that was the reason that I made my channel in the first place, I just, uh, cause I'd heard all these commentaries talk about, man, Black Ops is the best Call of Duty yet, and I was like, man, what game are you guys playing, uh, cause I've been playing it, and, um, you know, the, the big thing is the lag, honestly. There's really no other factor that I care about that much in Black Ops. You know, and I have plenty of reasons. Like, it's, it's not just the lag that caused me to not like it. I got my dogs there. I think I just called them in. Uh, that's not the last dog to see either, by the way. Um, but, uh, like, the lag is the big thing. I, I uh, in my commentary that I'm talking about, I did talk about other factors. And there are plenty of factors. But, I mean, um, it's not like... I could deal with the rest of it, you know, if it wasn't for the horrendous lag. And it seems like my experience with that lag is atypical of what most people have with the game. Uh, because I hear people talk about it, and I don't hear that many people talk about the lag in Black Ops. Thunder did at one point, but um, I don't know. It sounds like my experience is way worse as far as the lag goes than most other people's had. But I mean, like, if a game lags every time I play it, how am I supposed to have fun with that, you know? Man, look at that. Oh, man, I predicted where he's going to be like a fucking boss. Freaking boss. I'm sorry. I'm cursed. That's terrible. I shouldn't do that on Thunder's channel. Um, I'll bleep it out if I have to. I'm going to roll here. Uh, but, um, yeah, I mean, like, the lag is the big thing. And look at that. Dogs again. Back, um, like, I've been playing, I've been gaming, you know, for like 20 years. I'm 24 years old, and uh, I've been gaming ever since I was a little kid. And I have never in my life thrown a controller until I got Black Ops. I'm not kidding. I am not exaggerating that at all. I've never thrown a controller in my life until I got Black Ops. It's just, you know, every match I go into, it's like, man, I'm doing well, but... I mean, I mean like, I'm playing well, but nothing I can do about it. And that's all I really want to spare on that, because I go into way more detail on that on my channel, and you guys can probably get a more accurate view of what I think there. But, you know, if you like, if you like Treyarch, that's perfectly cool. Uh, I think Infinity Ward makes... Far better games than Treyarch for the most part, but 
You know, if you like Treyarch, that's perfectly cool. It's just my opinion. I, I feel like someone should stand up for Infinity Ward on Thunder's channel, you know, because Thunder's always hating on Infinity Ward. And I, I mean, like, I don't know. I don't, not like Infinity Ward needs someone to stand up for them. They're a game company and plenty of people buy their games. I mean, I'm not, I'm not a fanboy. I don't believe in supporting some, like, the one game company I might support is Gearbox because they're a really cool developer and they're really down to earth and they're just really neat guys. Uh, but, like, that's, you know. Infinity War vs. Treyarch, don't really care, I play the games I like, you know, and I love this game, this, World at War is a bunch of fun, so I've been really enjoying it, so every time I'm, uh, just want to go back to something simple, instead of Modern Warfare 3, which I still love playing, by the way, I still love Modern Warfare 3, um, I'll, I'll go back to this game, and it's still a bunch of fun, and I think, yes, look at that again, god, just x-ray vision through this crap, so, um, uh, yeah, if you guys, uh, if you guys like this commentary, if you're interested, um, my channel, uh, hopefully will be in the description, uh, if it's not, it's Tack Waffles. I know that's a, I know it's a funny name, but I'm a odd little dude. Not really. Uh, but uh, my gameplay uh, is not stellar. I'm not Sandy Ravage, you know. Uh, my videos are really more about the commentary, and I like to do thought-provoking kind of commentaries. I want to do stuff that, when you listen to it, it makes you think. You know, you you might uh, be like, man. I never thought about this, and maybe bring it up with your friends, have a discussion. I, I do that all the time with YouTube videos. If I see something cool, I'll uh, sit down and talk about it with my friends, and we'll have a great discussion about it. I mean, I love discussion. Uh, my main videos on my channel are called Discussion Series. Um, I am I stopped producing them recently because it's just I don't have enough subscribers and they didn't get a lot of views, but uh, I want to bring that back once I get more people looking at the channel because I think it's really fascinating to talk about some of these things. My first one was on death and dealing with it and uh, what that means for your everyday life. And so that's the kind of stuff that I like to do with my channel. Uh, I'll have some Let's Plays eventually. My, I'm actually starting a Ogre Battle 64 Let's Play right now. I have a preliminary up for that already, uh, and I'm going to put the first episode up soon. And um, the other thing that I'm really excited about doing is parodies of uh, YouTubers. Uh, the, I'm going to research their commentary style and sort of copy it and uh, do it like I'm them, but talking about myself. Sandy Ravage, uh, The Lone Noob, uh, Thunder, of course. So, uh, yeah, if you guys enjoyed this uh, and any of that sounds interesting to you, go ahead and check it out. If not, then I hope you guys have a good rest of your day. This has been Tack Waffles, and remember, if every gun in the game is overpowered, maybe it's not the guns. Maybe it's you. So long, everybody!